Hello there YouTube. I decided to try a little experiment today to see whether I could make and use a homemade relaxer instead of buying or going to a salon and have my hair relaxed. It's a new video for me, never done this before. I've always had a love-hate relationship with my hair. Currently I um, plait it away and wear a lace wig because I'm a single and performer so having hair that looks good is really important to me and um, unfortunately my hair isn't really strong enough and up for the job of uh, looking glamorous when I'm on stage. So most of the time I wear lace wigs, but as I'm getting older I wanted something that would take me into my 50th year, allow me to pick and choose whether I want to wear the wigs or uh, wear my hair natural. So finding uh, a relaxer that would work would be really useful. So I stumbled across some homemade relaxers on YouTube and to be fair, the ladies who were presenting them had got really luscious hair, so I thought it's worth a try. A little bit about my hair, I've not had it relaxed for about 10 years now. I did uh, try the Brazilian blow dries about five years ago. I had one done in a salon and then the second one I tried at home with a kit. I did receive some good results um, on the Brazilian blow dry. My hair seemed softer and the curl pattern seemed to be a lot looser after the Brazilian blow dries. But um, obviously when my, hair, my head got hot or sweaty, it would revert back to being quite frizzy. So here's the start of the experiment. Uh, I've just taken the lace wig off and I'm plaited my hair and this is the hair I washed about a week ago. As you can see in the video it looks quite brittle and frizzy and if I was combing the hair at this point you would hear a lot of breakage going on. So the first thing I did was um, prepare the three treatments that I'm going to use on my hair. The first one I called the avocado treatment uh, which has one ripe avocado one egg yolk and three to four tablespoons of your favorite oil. I used um, castor oil because I just recently got a big bottle of it and I did read online that it is very good for hair growth. So mixed those three ingredients together. I, I did use an immersion blender because uh, the avocado is really hard to mix. It doesn't blend smoothly with just a fork. So it definitely is worth getting the avocado mix as smooth as possible because when you come to apply it to your hair, and um, uh, the lumps in the avocado don't absorb, they just sit on the surface of your hair and uh, you're not getting the benefit that way. The next treatment I, I mixed was the Castile and Hemp Shampoo. I didn't really measure it but I would guess it's about half a cup of Castile soap, so that's 125 ml of Castile soap, about one heaped teaspoon of hemp powder and about a teaspoon of peppermint oil. The oil didn't really smell when I was mixing it, but I noticed the peppermint smell a lot more when it was applied to my hair. Also, you could use different essential oils if, if you wanted to change the smells and make it similar to the, the shop bought shampoos, but on this occasion I just thought I'd try, try as is. And the final treatment I mixed was the Mayo Conditioner. Now, on the original video that I saw, the lady was getting criticised for basically um, making a mayonnaise, which is very true. This is exactly what it is. It's the same ingredients that go into a mayonnaise, but um, I, I much prefer to make my own because uh, shop bought mayo does have stabilizers in the ingredients and also fillers, which uh, you don't really need. My homemade mayo conditioner consisted of one egg yolk, one dessert spoon of lemon juice, and a high protein oil. The video I watched suggested soya bean oil. Unfortunately they don't sell that in my supermarket. There's only rapeseed oil. So on this occasion I used almond oil which is something I had in the house already. So you whisk the lemon juice into the egg yolk and then um, drizzle about a tablespoon of uh, the oil. Whisk that in and then drizzle another tablespoon of oil and keep doing that until all the oil has been blended and combined into the mixture and then you're done. So off to the bathroom to start applying the treatments. The uh, avocado prep, I just scoop a dollop on my fingers and smooth that onto a section of my hair and then comb it through and smooth it down and continue doing that until all of the avocado was put on my hair and all my hair was combed through and smoothed down. It's a little bit messy, I'm not going to lie. I did see spots of avocado which also gets darker as time goes on all around my bathroom, sink, walls, mirror, everywhere. But hey this is what we have to do. So applied the, the treatments and covered it with a, a plastic bag and then wrapped my hair in a towel. It was quite a hot day in the UK 
um, so I didn't see the need to put any heat on my hair. Just went about my day for about an hour whilst the treatment set in. It did actually smell like a relaxer, which was quite bizarre because I hadn't smelt that smell for a long, long time. So after the avocado treatment had been on for about an hour, I uh, rinsed it off. Then it was time to put the uh, Castile and Hemp shampoo on. So rinsing was quite easy, although there was like a greasy residue in, in the sink afterwards. I used about a handful of the soap, put that on my hair, rubbed it in well. Lots of soap sods um, because there's no sulfates in any of any of the things that I'm using on my hair. So it was quite easy to um, lather up and then I combed through the soap all the way through my hair to make sure that I was getting all the tangles out and it was also getting all the, the shampoo on every part of my hair. Rinsed off the shampoo, dried my hair in a towel um, and then it was time to apply the Mayo conditioner. Same thing again, scooping dollops into my hand and applying that to sections. Combing the hair through, so making sure that each section had got lots of the mayo on and then smoothing it down around my head. Finally, a bag over my head and a towel again. This time I left it on my hair for about an hour and a half, went about my day. So the final stage is to rinse the conditioner off. You don't need to re-shampoo the hair at this point. There was a slight eggy smell, which I wasn't that keen on, but didn't want to put anything else on my hair and rinse it away because it, so far it had been a really natural process and I could tell my hair was feeling the benefits of doing this. So I decided to put some Haitian black castor oil on my hair as a leave-in moisturiser. This seemed to lessen the smell of the egg. The curls were definitely softer and more defined after the three treatments, but they did still look quite tight. So I decided to plait my hair and cover it with a towel whilst I went to have my dinner. Hopefully some of the moisture would be dried out of my hair by the time I came to blow dry it and straighten it. So after about another hour, I came back, dried my hair with a blow dryer uh, and a brush and then straightened it with GHDs. Didn't put any more treatments on my hair, but uh, I was really surprised how straight my hair was afterwards. Certainly a lot easier to uh, straighten and it's certainly shiny and smooth. So I would say that was a success. Quite inexpensive to do. As you can see in the picture, the ends are still quite frizzy and they were quite difficult to straighten. So I decided to ask my husband to just trim my hair for me. Bless him, he was a little bit nervous and wanted to get it nice and straight. And we seem to have ended up with quite a nice bob. At first I was a little bit unsure, thinking, oh, it's too short. But I'm actually pleased that all the dead hair has been removed and I can start afresh. Thinking about the process, there isn't much mystery to this. By giving your hair such a, a deep condition, it certainly makes it smoother and softer and easier to manage, which in turn makes it easier to straighten. So in effect, it is a homemade relaxer that works, that really works. I think repeating this process probably once a month will certainly encourage my hair to grow, encourage my hair to, um, and to be straighter and softer than it has been in the past. So it's certainly worth a go. Please send me your feedback. Hope you like this video. See you next time. Bye for now.